スーパーマリオブラザーズ2はさすがディスクで面白い。ヘッタクション。Hey, welcome back to Generation S, and welcome back to another episode of No Continues. I'm Dan Kemp, and if you're new to the show, welcome. Uh, the concept is pretty simple. I play through old school video games, whether it's on Sega, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Game Boy, and I try to get as far as I can until I either beat it or I die game over, because once I do, that's it. No Continues. And, uh, this week's episode, it may be a pretty short video. We're going to find out. Uh, we're going to be playing through Super Mario Brothers: The Lost Levels, also known as Super Mario Brothers 2 over in Japan, because this was the original sequel to Super Mario Brothers all the way back in the day. They eventually released it here in the U.S. They called it Mario Brothers Lost Levels. Uh, it got a nice little upgrade visually uh, for the Super Nintendo, but this is the original NES version, finally available uh, in the Switch Online Library, which is how I'm playing in here today. <clears throat> so uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. I have never beaten this game, by the way, so we're going to see how far I get. I'm hoping I don't make too many stupid mistakes that right out of the gate there, because you only get three lives, and it's very difficult to earn extra lives because there's not a lot of coins in this game. So we'll uh, we'll see how we do here, but this game is definitely not for the faint of heart. It is a very punishing game. Uh, I don't want to say cheap because it's not necessarily a cheap game in terms of like damage and getting hurt and stuff like that, but it's not its not necessarily the most fair game either. Oh, there we go. Extra life. That's nice. Gonna need all those I can get. Okay, let's uh, avoid that real quick. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, well, I think there's a... Yeah, there's a mushroom right there, so at least there's that to get me to the end of the level, which I think we're almost there. Yep, there we go. Alrighty. One, one down. Let's see how we do. I have played through part of this before, and I and I played it a little back in the day on, you know, Super Nintendo. So there's some things I remember. Most of this stuff, especially past, like, the first world, I am not going to remember at all. And I'm not playing through, uh, I should say, I'm not warping at all. This is going to be all, uh, you know, f like, completionist, if you will. We're going to play through every single level, uh, or at least try to. And, uh, no warp zones, so. But this game definitely, uh, if you'd never played a Mario game before, this is not the one to start with. We'll just say that. Alright, let's run across here. Just like in the original Mario Brothers 1, uh, you can jump up and kind of run across the top of the screen here. Uh, and I think there's a warp zone at the end, but again, we're not going to use it. No! There we go. Okay, whew. And I think it's the end of the level. There we go. Okay. Now, sometimes I'll play these games before I start recording to practice. I did not do that here. <laughs> so, this is, uh, we're going in totally cold on this one. See, one thing I'm used to with Mario, and it drives me crazy when people don't do this, is I run basically through an entire level if I can. Just That's just the way I always have. The problem with this game is that if you do that, you unless you know where you're going, you are pretty screwed because there's a lot of uh, traps that you got to watch out for. So, But there's there's also a lot of instances where you have to run to get a running start to, uh, to get through a part or whatever. You know what I mean? So... All right, what's this going to give us? We get a, Do we get our first Fire Flower? There it is. First Fire Flower of the game, and really going to give me an advantage here. Hopefully, take it through to the uh, World 1 Castle. I think I'm almost there. We go at the end. All right. And uh, this is pretty much as far as my memory goes on uh, on this game. I don't really remember this castle, so we'll see what happens. Okay. Alright, so far, not bad. Pretty straightforward. Platforming, again, a little challenging, but that's kind of par for the course at this point. But we're going to work our way through here carefully. 
It feels very similar to the original World 1 castle from the first game, but then this here, this is new. And you gotta watch out for these fireball. There we go. Let's just, uh, we'll hit him with everything we got. And we'll just work our way over. There we go. That wasn't too bad. World 1 down. I'm still standing. Of course, our princess is in another castle, as always. Let's, uh, let's check out World 2. All right, departure from the first game. World 2 in the original Mario Brothers is a daytime level. This is a nighttime level. I don't know what that's going to mean necessarily overall, but... Uh, oh, there we go. We got my mushroom back at least. And, of course, retaining the old school. You, you lose your uh, power-up. You lose... Uh, you go back to small Mario. You don't, you don't go back down to whatever previous power-up you had. So, like, you don't go from uh, Fire Flower Mario to... to Oh, shit. Am I going to make it? <laughs> yes, okay. There we go. I don't want that mushroom. Alright, well. This is fun. I do not know where I'm going to land. Oh, there you go. That's nice. Did not know about that. Shit. Okay. You know what I haven't done yet, is I haven't gotten the fireworks, which in the original game were, if you landed on a 1, 3, or a 6 for the timer, uh, I just have not landed on one of those yet. Alright, we're still outside at night. No underground here or underwater. Alright. So... I feel like this is one of those games where if you did play it for some reason as a kid, maybe you had a Japanese, like a Famicom or whatever, and you played this game a lot, like, it's not that hard, but because I'm used to playing Mario and expecting certain things and never having really played this, it it, it does add to the difficulty. And, and don't get me wrong, it, it already is a, a, a hard game, but it's even harder when you don't know what to expect, so you really don't have any muscle memory to aid you, which has definitely helped me with other games that I've played for, not just for the show, but just, you know, my childhood, you know. All right, let's see. Mushroom, I'll take that. Okay, well, that's not good. Is there like a hidden block or something? going on here? I don't like that. Okay. What was I supposed to do there? No clue. Well, I guess we'll find out this time. Oh, sh that was... That was bad. Alright. I can't do too many of those, otherwise it's going to be over real quick. Down. Oh, I can go down there. Okay, that's good. Well, all right. And where does that take us? Right there. Great. I still don't know what to do. Okay. Seriously, what am I supposed to do right here? Oh, there we go. Okay. Is there a lower one down that I can use to, like... Because I can't get up there. No, oh, there we go. I guess I can. They really, like, expect you to be able to, like, nail these freaking jumps, man. Alright. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna let that go up and down again, and then I'm gonna run. Jesus. This may be over quickly, guys. This is, uh... Borderline cheap, but again, that's why they didn't bring it over to the U.S. when they, you know, back in the day. Ah, that was that was on me. That was sincerely my bad. <laughs> Last life. Here we go. You know what would have been really good is uh, like a. 
like a vine or something, which I know there's not one. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. That's nice. I was kind of hoping they weren't expecting me to just jump up there, you know? go. Okay. Still 15 coins away from a free life. So, yeah. I still got one life left. That's it. I want to be expecting we got flying fish. I know that was tip. Yep, there it is. Okay. Anytime you see a lot of bridges, you got the flying fish coming up from underneath. Oh, there we go. That'll come in handy for sure. I never used to, like, I mean, the Fire Flower is always a nice power-up, but, like, in the original, like, you didn't really need it, necessarily. It certainly did make things easier, but most of the levels are pretty easy on their own, to where you didn't have to, like, like right now, I, well, I say that, and I spoke too soon. All right, extra life. Whew! And I got a three. See how many fireworks this time? Let's see. I guess I get rid of fireworks. Their budget ran out for the first game. All right. Castle number two. Shit. <laughs> All right. Let's try that again. Castle number two. I could have probably used that right there, but that's okay. I would have gotten an extra life if I had done that correctly, but what can you do? All right. Well, <laughs> there it is. I made it to the end of World 2 and Super Mario Brothers 2 for Japan. All right. Well, that's another episode of No Continues in the Books. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.